Here we are again on another hike to the Ipswich River Park in North Reading, Mass. Zooming down with Google Earth, we see an aerial view of the uh, Ipswich River Park. This is the uh, All Trails app where uh, we uh, use today when we went on a hike uh, at the Ipswich River Park uh, in North Reading, Mass. Uh, this is on January 19th, 2021. Uh, you can see the trail that we took outlined in red here and also uh, the there's a graph down at the bottom here that illustrates the elevation that we took as we went along the trail. As I move the uh, pointer arrow along the uh, graph, you can see a blue dot uh, followed us first all the way over to the pond and then back again and then along the trail around in a little loop uh, next to the Ip the river the Ipswich River and, uh, around the loop again and then uh, followed it uh, some more uh, around uh, various um, uh, baseball fields and skating rinks and then we uh, went along the uh, the road here and then back again uh, by the park and then later uh, back the same route that we had come and then out to the parking lot if you look at the chart on the left you'll see that the uh, distance is given as 1.4 miles. Then the elevation up and down hills is about 16 feet. And the total time it took us for the whole walk was one hour and two minutes. Below that, the average pace was about 44 steps per, per minute. Uh, I used up about uh, 539 calories and the total time including the um, the talking etc was about an hour and 24 minutes if you click on these red circles you'll see there are photographs at each one of these red circles and the, that's where I took the photograph so you can see them here here etc. So these are the photographs I took along the trail. Uh, to see them uh, one at a time I can uh, click on this one for instance and uh, go back to the beginning again. Uh, I'm trying to th find the beginning. This is uh, the sign at the beginning of the park on uh, 11 Central Street in uh, North Reading, managed by the town of North Reading. Then if I click the photos more to the right, you notice this is the all trails map that w was drawn by the app. The next was a picture of the four of us, uh, five of us rather, uh, as we got ready to go on the hike. Uh, From right to left is Rick and Rosemary, and Annie, and Peggy, and Mark. Uh, we went over first to the pond to see um, the flow of the river uh, in that area. So there is some uh, flow, even though there is not too much snow melting uh, this winter, there is uh, still uh, a vigorous flow in the uh, in the Ipswich River as it fills up this pond. Rick stops at a little kiosk and opens it up and sees that there is a couple of life jackets inside the kiosk. And this kiosk was constructed by a family that lost a son in the river and he drowned and uh, so they um, 
made a collection of some money and then put up this kiosk with some life-saving uh, vests so that if anything like that happens again that maybe they could save a life. Then along the way there are a lot of tree plantings and there are also some benches. Uh, here you can see there's a plaque on the bench that shows who donated that particular uh, bench and there's also a tree here with a label that shows who uh, donated that tree. A lot of the trails uh, that wind through the Ipswich uh, River Park are uh, tar uh, roadways and uh, so that walk these trails. They, you don't see any uh, bikes or uh, uh, motorized vehicles, uh, but the only thing that you do see is a lot of walkers. Here again is another sign illustrating the Ipswich River Park and uh, a, a, ma a map of the park here and description of what you can do and what you can't do and some of the restrictions down below here. Here is again one of the benches that was donated and then here are some bricks that are inscribed with the, the names of various uh, deceased relatives and the bricks, a uh, brick that they donated. Again, there's a uh, gazebo here where they do have some, uh, in the past, they've had some outdoor entertainment uh, at the park here. This picture is Peggy and Rosemary. The next picture is that of Arnie and Rick. The, uh, also the, the trees, again, are, uh, some of them have some other plantings around the trees and monuments that illustrate uh, who donated the, uh, that particular tree and the flowers. Some of the uh, trees are, are down uh, due to uh, erosion, uh, due to winter storms, uh, snow cover, and wind damage, and just the trees getting older, older and uh, rotting away and then falling over. The, uh, as we walked along, we saw some uh, marshlands like this. The temperature was around 25 degrees Fahrenheit, and I took this picture uh, with my iPhone, uh, on my iPhone uh, with a, a weather app. Again, there is a compass app on the uh, iPhone that, uh, al that allows you to tell your walking direction and uh, it moves uh, just like a, a regular compass and it's very accurate and I compared it to a real compass and it showed uh, quite uh, accuracy. And the real compass uh, was in tune with the uh, digital compass that I had on my uh, iPhone. Again, another map of the same area from all trails and it shows uh, various walking trails around the uh, area and um, with the dotted lines. So again, you can see the trail that we, uh, we took and uh, the various dots that show uh, where we took, we stopped and took the pictures. Uh, if you go down, uh, pull this down, you can see all the pictures that we took. At the end of the uh, walk, we ran into this uh, man who comes here every day and um, he uh, was showing us a stick that he had made, which was a walking stick with a handle on it. And he, it's a, a little longer than a shillelagh. Uh, I guess there's a specific name for it. The shillelagh is only about 13 inches, but this one is about... Uh, 40 inches in length and um, he was talking about how he made them and gave them the way to different people that uh, he knows. Uh, one particular, he told us a story of one particular fellow who uh, had an accident and was came, came to the park every day in a wheelchair, uh, made a, a walking stick for him 
and showed up the next day and gave him the walking stick. And within uh, another few uh, days and months, uh, months that went by, uh, they saw the man graduate from the wheelchair to the, using the walking stick, and uh, he's, been, he's recovered. So that was an, a nice story. That brings us to the end of another hike. Thanks again for joining us, and we'll see you next time.